More than half a million Americans experience homelessness every night. In the past five years, Los Angeles, San Francisco, and Seattle have declared states of emergency because of homelessness. This is the subject of the Netflix documentary, Lead Me Home, which is nominated for an Oscar for Best Documentary Short. The film tells the real life stories of more than two dozen people living on the streets on the West Coast over a three year period. I lost my job and the person I was staying with, I couldn't pay my rent. I came out as transgender my senior year in college and I lost all of my family support. I didn't have money and I didn't have nowhere else to go. So we slept outside for three days. I made it be like we were camping because I didn't want to just be walking the streets. Joining us now are John Shank and Pedro Cause, co-directors of Lead Me Home. John and Pedro, welcome and congratulations on your Oscars nod. I'm curious why you both thought uh, that a film on homelessness needed to be made. Obviously, it took you three years to make this, so uh, you, you stuck with your subjects for a while. Pedro, let's start with you. Why were you interested in this subject? Well, I was interested in the subject because it is about us. It's about our cities. It's about our neighbors. Um, and, you know, we're... You know, John lives in San Francisco. I live in Los Angeles. And one of the things that we've been seeing around... Um, people talking about homelessness, um, the dialogue seems to be having uh, lost uh, humanity. You know, we we want to uh, we want to remind um, ourselves and our neighbors um, uh, that we're talking about people like you and I, mm -hmm. um, and really inject um, humanity back into the dialogue and kind of recenter, kind of look at life from the perspective. Um, of our, our brothers and sisters um, who are suffering right on our blocks. And, um, and that for, for us was really important to, to shine a light and change our perspective on, in the way we view um, homelessness in America. And John, what about you? What were your thoughts going into this film? And did something or anything surprise you over the course of making it? We were blown away by how much more we had in common with our neighbors who are experiencing homelessness than we did not. Um, like Pedro said, these are our neighbors. They're our fellow human beings living in our cities. Um, one thing that really stood out to us that was very common feeling among those experiencing homelessness was a sense of invisibility. Um, people who are falling out of the economic, economic system that we've set up in this country really have a sense that nobody cares about them as people. And that really drove us, that really kind of spoke to us in our hearts and drove a lot of what you see in this film. And, you know, you, you spoke to people or you stuck with people who've had all sorts of, you know, challenges in their lives. What is your sense after doing this film of the true causes of homelessness or, you know, what's at the root of the fact that people have to be on the streets for so long? That's a very good question. And the answer is complicated and goes back decades that has to do with um, federal tax policy, um, the, the lack of funding for you know safety net services that, that used to be part of our national programs. Um, housing costs, especially in West Coast cities have gone up much faster than, than um, wages. And so we have a system where there's a, almost an inevitability that certain number of people, it's estimated up to 600,000 in the post-COVID world, um, are now experiencing homelessness um, every night in America. It's too many people to uh, have the, those people be at blame. It's some, there's something wrong with the, the system. And, you know, we have a, in the film, you see one of the social workers say to somebody experiencing homelessness, I'm one paycheck away from being in a tent right next to you. Mm -hmm. And we realize there's a lot of Americans who are vulnerable to this same situation. And we hope that the, the film in some ways, like Pedro said, reminds people that these are fellow Americans who are suffering. Absolutely, there, uh, but for the grace of God, there go I, right? Um, so Pedro, the film touches on the idea that some neighborhoods and people are resistant to having encampments or homeless shelters near them or near their homes. But of course, the question then becomes, where should all of these people go? Exactly. And, and as you hear in, in the film, um, Eric, the, the same man who says, I'm one paycheck away, he is um, a worker, an outreach worker with uh, an organization in Los Angeles called Los Angeles Family Housing. And... 
She also says um, they're being when an encampment is being sort of swept, uh, they, they try and be f forced to remove. He says where are, there's no there's nowhere for them to go, and that's where that's where we have to look at ourselves and say, you know and and realize that it's up to all of us because this is about all of us. And one of the things that um, for John and I and the whole team really kind of shattered our uh, our preconceptions of uh, of what the causes of homelessness. We we saw families. We saw. Um, individuals uh, as varied and from every single walk of life. And I think the diversity mm -hmm. of the people that we met and the differences in experiences from medical emergencies to domestic violence to, um, uh, to unemployment, um, I mean, the list goes on in terms of um, the different experiences that pushed all, all the people that we met out onto the streets. And I think we have to you know, the dialogue is so right now based in fear. Mm -hmm. um, and and I think we, we really kind of, as John said, we kind of reframe the conversation and really shift the way people see sort of the othering and, and stop that and kind of, you know, kind of realize that it's about all of us and we all need to um, to participate. And John, it seems like there just simply is not enough semi-permanent or low-income permanent housing or even just beds, right? Um, what are the obstacles to creating more of that in many of these large cities where homelessness is a problem? You know, one thing we realized in the film uh, while filming this this uh, this documentary is that um, people have a lot of fear. You know, maybe based on the fact that they themselves are vulnerable and they don't want to, you know, lose the, the toehold that they have on in the economy. Um, and there's a sense that you know, I, I need to kind of protect what's mine. And really what we've learned is that something of the opposite is true. These five or 600,000 people out there on the streets every night um, can be viewed as an untapped resource in, in America. And, um, you know, each of these people, like Pedro said, comes from a different walk of life. They have skills. We, pil fil we filmed artists. We filmed tech workers. We filmed people who, um, you know, are really trying to hold down jobs, but find it so difficult when they don't have a place to have a safe night's sleep at right. night. Um, the obstacles, you know, um, one simple thing is more um, affordable housing. And it, it's very difficult, as you say, to convince communities to have affordable housing in their neighborhood. Um, but we have examples now where when you do build affordable housing in neighborhoods, it actually increases the value and, and um, you know, makes a, health, a healthy economy that benefits all citizens. Right. Okay, so we hear, or we understand that you guys plan to bring some of the subjects of your documentary to the Oscars with you. Why do you feel this is an important thing to do, Pedro? It's hugely important because, as John said, um, we... We, we go through life uh, here in our in our big cities in the United States, trying to act, sometimes actively ignoring, you know, having uh, and to kind of shed that cloak of invisibility. I think it will be so powerful and such an incredible statement of humanity to, you know, to shine a big spotlight on these incredible people um, who, for one reason or another, um, were, you know, forced out into the streets and really kind of bring back the humanity and the, and the, the dignity into the dialogue um, and celebrate them as our neighbors, as, as we should all celebrate one another. John Shank and Pedro Koss, thank you so much for joining us and congratulations on your Oscars nod. Good luck at the Oscars. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much.